Hey, black women. I gotta say, this whole thing with Drake and what's his name? Kendrick is getting out of hand, right? All right, so I'm eating dinner, I'm watching the news. Why do I see a story talking about Drake's um, shots fired at Drake's house? And <laughs> security guard is taken to the hospital, right? You know what the craziest thing about all of this is? Okay. Since rap was created when I was a teenager, right? I know for a fact that this has nothing to do with what they're saying. It's about this is just bullshit and all created rap war because the black women are fucking killing it in rap right now. When you think about any of them that are your favorites, my personal favorite is Meg Thee Stallion, right? And then I like many other women. Well, this is the first time in history, the history of rap, we have had literally more than three black women rappers that were really killing the charts. When I say killing the charts, like, they are right and i mean even if it's like one hit wonders and all that type of stuff they are killing the charts and meg is making actual black woman rapper history she's an independent artist she was on the the number two on the top billboard and she's doing everything by herself She's amazing. Now, yes, you have other uh, female black women rappers in the past that had did the same thing, but not independently like her. Right? So, when you have this big explosion, right? And you have all these black women who... Now, remember, right? Keep everything I'm saying in context. All these black women who have historically been pretty much pushed out of the the limelight in hip-hop like back when i was young um you had like real hard-hitting women like rod digger and others that they got a little shine for a little while and then just faded away right um foxy she was one of my favorites from back in the days i think she was like so goddamn beautiful but anyway like the the people the women back then always had hit a plateau, hit the glass ceiling, and then fell back down because the whole thing was to pump the males and to make the males feel like they were the emperors of rap, right? Where they could never have an empress or, a, like Meg says, a female titan, right? Or a woman titan. So now that you actually have this whole thing that's going on right now in 2024 where black women are understanding that rap music has historically been degenerative <laughs> degenerative music um degenerate music that has defiled dehumanized and sexually exploited black women black women are now you know coming out with all different types of comebacks or get back about rap and standing strong in how they're affirming themselves in their songs. And I'm not talking about people like um, Sexy Red and um, what's the other one, Sukiyana. I'm not talking about people like that. But women that are, whatever they're singing about in rap, it's not always about sex, but it's about black women being powerful, understanding their worth, speaking about getting money and not making males of any kind of priority that is what's happening and since that has not been the working wheel of success for black males since the origination of rap they're all sitting in their rooms and at home because if you've noticed ever since um one of the migos guys had got killed rap has like pretty much died out and when you had all those different scandals with 
all these ugly black males that have these really sick names like the baby all the other one that was one he's gay he came out gay then he's straight and uh, oh god it was just too much right you have all these scandals people doing every and anything selling their soul humiliating themselves disrespecting themselves just to get put on to get a deal and to be into in, in the rap industry and now none of them are popping none, none of them have anything that anybody gives a damn about listening to so if you don't think that the guys are sitting at home getting mad because black women are besting them once again as they should because black women haven't really fairly gotten a fair shake at really growing as far as they can grow or should be able to grow in rap because they were always overshadowed by women that are not black women like the cardi b's um the what's this other girl ice spice or whatever right um white women especially them um back in the 90s they had a lot of them and it was ridiculous even the 80s because they even had people who, who who traditionally didn't do rap rap just because uh the music industry didn't want black women to be at on an equal standing with black males because you had blondie who was rapping as well i don't know if you guys know her but she's a, a rock artist and then you had a a portuguese r a, a white portuguese r&b singer that used to rock with rick james tina marie she was also rapping right so you've always had these people or other women that were always pushed to the forefront over black women and especially black women that were brown or darker skinned because of course the music industry is always trying to push everything close to white to try to make it you know always trying to program you and convince you that black is not good enough white is always superior in what you're supposed to be striving to and that this is the default to everything when it is not so this also i believe is part of why this riff is going on between kendrick and um drake who's not black at all i mean you understand what i'm saying when you have a white mother you are not black you may be biracial mixed whatever they want to call you but you are not black because white women do not have black children let's make that very very clear okay so then you also have to take into consideration that because this dude drake is white with an admixture of a black father only right he represents for all of the square wannabe down white guys because here is a white a white dude they get to push in black community music and so so-called hip-hop culture to make it seem as if once again whites are more dominant and better served to <laughs> to project or display i'll represent our music when we've created it and he doesn't even know anything about being black lived a black life experience in america ever been african-american and it's just crazy how this is always the problem when it comes to the black males in hip hop because they want to rule supreme, right? But they have no integrity. They never think to keep or help put black women on just as much as they are as their counterparts to keep control of the art form music genre whatever and this is why all this type of stuff happens so you always have peaks and valleys of the males are up the women are down the women are up the males are down you're gonna always have that but black women once again you guys are the key to everything if you only patronize the black women and the ones you want and stop backing all of these uh, fake black women that are perpetrating a fraud and pretending and appropriating our not only our identity but our culture like Cardi B and 
Ice Spice and all those white women, if you didn't back them, they would never be popular and they would never get to the level of fame that they're at now. This is all part of what, why this, this all of a sudden thing is going on between these two. And every time you turn around, something's happening with Drake because, you know, they have to keep you hooked onto him as the favorite because he's not black. It, he's white so they got to push whiteness and white superiority the same way yesterday was the anniversary of the holocaust right so the president in all this time of not speaking out against what has been going on in gaza and america's contribution to that he came out and actually spoke about anti-semitism and it's like why don't you have the same energy for the Palest palestinian people why don't you have the same energy if you want to make things right go a step further why don't you have the same energy for paying black people their reparations the way you did the jews the native americans and the japanese mind you the holocaust had nothing to do with america but they still paid them so this whole shit between kendrick and drake is to knock meg the stallion off to knock Glorilla off, to knock all the other black women. Well, I only could think of those two right off the top of my head, right? To knock all the women in rap off that actually have a decent following and that are actually starting to build up themselves and push their stardom in rap. This is all this, is all this shit is about, okay? That's all it's about. Because if you guys remember, it wasn't too long ago that... What is that creepy bastard's name? He is a straight... They say he's a crackhead. Um, Joe Budden, right? Do you remember not too long ago he has said all of this black... He didn't say women, which was what he should have said. He said black female, but it is black women. Because we are women, okay? Our gender does not make up our humanity or who we are as adults in this society we're women so he said something about this too much black women rap and trying to diminish it because it wasn't uh toxic masculinity right so ever since he said that all of a sudden it's a historical rap battle going on and all this is is smoke and mirror. Smoke and mirror to make you go, oh, forget about the girls. What's going over on over here with these dudes fighting with each other? When neither one of those dudes really are making music that anybody really wants to hear right now. Now, I, I actually like Kendrick way more than I like Drake. But I don't like the fact that Kendrick is actually part of this whole fiasco they got going on. He's part of it. Because he doesn't really have a problem with this dude. Because if he really did, you know how rappers are. If he really had a problem with this dude, he would just go punch him in his face. Isn't that what they do? Isn't that what they've been doing for the past 50 whatever years? Is beating each other up or getting into fights, showing just how tough they are? Like, look at Jim Jones. Wasn't he just fighting in the airport the other day? Honestly, we got to give Jones some real credit. Because, um... They, those two dudes actually tried to jump him on the escalator and he whooped their ass, which is what he should have did. But, nonetheless, Jim Jones been brawling in them streets for a long fucking time. So, my point. If this really was a real fucking rap issue, which it's not, it's one of those fake rap battles again to take the attention away from Megan and the rest of the girls with the great songs... Oh, excuse me with the great rap to focus everyone's attention back to the dusty not doing anything really in rap these days guys because they think they're the only ones that deserve attention money following and fans when actually the women have always been better than the guys in my opinion when it has come to rap because they don't need to talk about belittling women and talking about having sex and dehumanizing women through deviancy in sex to sell records they have never had to do that so anyway that's my two cents or little bit of take on it and i just 
Look at how they pull this fucking shenanigan on us all the time. When rap is like fizzling out on the guy's side. And they need some life blown back into their part of the court. Like, it is so corny. Like, just stop. Drake has always been whack. To me, anyway. And he really really started making me sick when he was saying all that wicked stuff about Megan during the trial. And I think that they really thought, the record people and whatnot really thought that because black women were no longer his base of fans, that he was going to be able to survive and he wouldn't need black women's money to stay on the high ride he was on because white people were backing him, right? surprise surprise all the fucking time i keep telling y'all that you really don't know how strong in numbers you are in this country that even with all the white folks backing him and some of the other ones he still couldn't make the money or get the popularity and that name household name situation he had when he first came out so now what is he doing instead of apologizing about all of the foul shit he said about Megan and just openly admitting that. Listen, I'm kind of falling off right now. I need um, black women to get behind me so that the other women will follow and so will the rest of the people so I can get back to where I was. That's all he had to do and actually make some decent music and stop acting like a little fucking child when how old is he? Being so petty with the things he's saying and doing. Come on, man. Come on, mister. Come on. You too you too old for all that. You know, but you know, what it you know, hey. That that's my opinion on all this. Like this is just another cloak and dagger or smoke screen to get you to give these guys some attention because right now the women are on fire when i tell you on fire i just was watching a megan Thee stallion video um of one of her you know how she always does like these freestyles i don't know if it's going to be one of her um upcoming um i don't know raps from her album that's coming out or whatever but she had put out no it was a freestyle um it's called i think i love her nice nice and i gotta tell you since i've been around since rap has been invented let me tell y'all something she is one of the quickest off the dome type rappers i have seen in a long goddamn time and i swear to god i cannot honestly compare her to any other rapper that is that quick with it completely that quick quick with it um including the melody that goes with with the um whatever she's saying um i've never seen her do a cypher but i'm pretty sure she would kill it um listen she's very good very good and i have i'm telling you out of all the greats even including latifah and um what, um, what's her name? I want a rough neck. MC Light, right? Even her and Yo Yo, like those were some of the ones that I really liked because they were off the top, really quick with it all the time. But even them, she's so much better than them. So much better. And it's like she's not getting all the praises and accolades that she truly deserves. Like, I mean, y'all can have your opinion. That's mine. Because, I mean, I literally was around from the first recording. Sugar Hill Gang and before that, all the people before them. Even, um, who was that corny black dude that was calling himself something, the cowboy? <laughs> I was wild. <laughs> the rapper, the, the cowboy, the rapper. I don't know, but it was like, he had some corny song. It was like the hardy, hard, hard. It was, I listen, I would have to go dig it up for y'all to hear this. It, it was like. And I'm talking about this was in the 70s. That guy was the first one. And then after him came the Sugar Hill Gang and the rest of them, right? Um, and then the people from, well, no. 
But I think the people from the Bronx were first, then the Sugar Hills and all the rest of them. However it went, I, I remember all of them. So, it wasn't that many women. And even the women that they had, my favorite was um, Roxanne Shantae, right? The original one, not the, the the second one, the tall girl. I don't like that girl. Um, but, listen. She's good. Megan is so good. Sometimes when I just listen to the words, <laughs> I'm like, wow. This girl is so good. And this is what's killing the dudes. And then if you notice, the other thing that makes her so good is that she doesn't have a problem, even if she falls out with the people later, right? Like her and Nikki don't get along now, but she's worked with her. She's worked with almost everybody, even the white women. She knows it's like she works with people, and that's what an artist is supposed to do, right? So they have an issue with that. Because if you look at the past, right? Most of the women in rap, they're acting like prima donnas and they always had an issue with this one or that one or had a limitation to what they would do. So this this woman is like a breath of fresh air. And then when you have all the other young women that are coming up underneath her, it's just for me, it is turning back around into the original art form that it was once create where it once was created from. So I'm loving this. And I just would try to implore black women to not get caught up so much in that trash that's happening between Kendrick and Drake and stay focused on our women. Keep promoting, advocating, and, and supporting our, our black women rappers because if the white music industry and the black males have their way, they would not have anyone in the rap industry that is a black woman, but all these white women, uh, culturally appropriating black women like cardi b and ice spice and it just would be a fucking tragedy so to end this little soliloquy here fuck drake fuck kendrick too long live the women of rap long live the women of rap good night y'all